when I'm done with your education, you're on your own. Because I have given you a fishing rod. I have taught you. I have given you the biggest gift I can give you. And so for me, I'm taking that and I want to transfer that. So I'm asking us that as parents, that is the step. That's what we need to begin to do. I mean, like, it's hard. You know, I'm not partying, but I'm not there all the time. Because I'm either speaking at one thing or I'm doing one more studies or the other thing. So I'm not there with my kids all the time. But when I'm there, it has to be quality time, not quantity time. Sometimes parents are there all the time and it's making no difference. So let's go for quality time. That the one hour we spend with them, let it be quality. Let it not be that your child has friends, you don't know who they are. I, I mean, like, I don't know this child. They, I, I, I must know all my friends, you know, all my kids and friends. Do you know? So, I mean, I, I know, I mean, like, we need to know all of those things, you know? My, I, I tell my kids, I don't have a child who is outside by 9 p.m. What are you looking for there? What's happening there? You know? So I don't have, I say, I don't have that child. You know, if you are coming back by now, I'm coming to pick you. My dad used to pick me up till I entered university. Not because, you know, they were protecting me from anything. But I was just spoiled in that way. Like, they would drop me there and pick me back. So I'm like, okay, you sold good seed. Me too, I will sold the good seed. You know, so if my child has gone, I will stay there. I will come and pick you. You've watched the movie. Text me when you get to the cinema. Text me, the, you know, you're going with your friend. So I am, I'm there. You know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not I, honestly. I'm not. A, I'm not a good parent because I'm not a good example. But just a little, I can do within my time. I'm saying key things. Number one, let us watch on their resilience. Number two, let us make sure that we're part of their life before we need to parent them. We're not a part of their life because we're parenting them. We're giving them the law. You know, they will resist that. Let us be a part of their court. What is important to them? Listen to their kind of music. My son by himself said, oh, mom, I'm sorry, that one has a bad word. Because I've been listening to their music since they were, you know, 10. You know, so it's not now that I'm trying to listen to his music. I've been listening to it when he's, oh, so mom, I'm so sorry, that has a bad word. Because can I play it on your car? You know, so all of those things that, you know, that we have, let's build relationship. You know, it's about relationship. When I was growing up, one of the things that, you know, like, you know, getting pregnant before, you know, while you're in school. I just, that idea couldn't cross my head because that thought of my father looking at me disappointed was, it was the biggest fear that I had, never to disappoint my father. But that also came from a relationship. If we don't build that relationship, it is really, really difficult for us to do. Sports is amazing. You know, I hear now that a lot of young people, okay, I don't know um, if this is age censored, but I hear now that statistics is showing that a lot of young people are not, you know, having sex anymore, you know, like that, you know, all of these things where we are saying we are watching them because that, no, that's because most people are either on their phones or WhatsApping or doing all of those things because this the generation has changed. So what we need to protect them from is what's happening behind these devices. These devices, some things, things that are happening there, they've gone to bed, it's light out, but they are still, the internet is in the house. So we need to not police them and say, don't have the internet, no. But how can we raise our young people to the point where they can make the decision? I tell my kids, I say, I cannot police you because I will not be there all the time. But the only thing I can do is, how can I build the value within you where you can look at it and say no? It's about how do we teach our kids to be able to look at it and say no. It is a difficult thing, but that is the most powerful one because it's getting to that point where they can say no. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.